so I got these gloves today, the Hayabusa. I had actually never heard of the company up until a week ago, um, but I've been looking to uh, basically move up from a 12 ounce glove to a 16 ounce. When I was looking on Amazon, these had, it was a 4.8 rating, which is one of the highest ratings of any product I've ever seen on Amazon. The other thing that stuck out with me is I always look at the low ratings. Uh, I don't look at the low ratings because a lot of times people may bitch like, uh, you know, they'll, they'll complain about the shipping or, or some random thing that doesn't really normally concern most people. So, you know, for this, I may look to see if people talk about the, the, the leather chipping or the stitching coming undone, see if there's a common trend in the low reviews. And the first thing I noticed right off the bat is that it almost has no low reviews. On the one star review, it made up 1% of the ratings. Normally for a high rated product like 4243, it's about 5 to 8%. And then on the two star, it was only 1%. And then I think on the 3%, it was either 2 or 3%. So extreme, I mean, almost no low ratings. This was 395 uh, reviews. Uh, so almost everybody either rated this a 4 or a 5, which uh, explains why it has a high rating. Um, but just to backtrack, I used to back box when I was younger. I got back into it uh, as, as a way to do cardio. I hate to do cardio. I hate to run. The only things I enjoy doing are riding a bike on the road or hitting on the punching bag. And so I got back into boxing uh, about four years ago. Uh, when I used to box, I was 175 pounds. Um, I was in my mid-20s. When I started back, I'm in my late 40s. I'm 225 pounds. Now, I, not only because I have the, uh, the proper technique, I can hit hard. Uh, the end result was because I can now finally hit like a heavyweight. I was throwing harder and harder punches. Long story short, I ended up tearing three rotator cuffs in my uh, shoulder. The two outer ones are minor tears, and then the one in the center is a major tear. Uh, I got off the bag for a while, but then came back and compensated it by throwing more power from the left. Uh, so I think now I have minor tears in here too. It's not a big deal. It doesn't really affect anything. Maybe a little pain every once in a while. Um, but I can still bench, you know, I grab 105 pound dumbbells. I have no problem with that. So it doesn't affect any kind of workout. Um, but I have to have some way of doing cardio. And boxing is about the only thing I'm going to enjoy doing. So originally I bought these, these Tidal gloves. Uh, it's a great little glove. I think it was about $40, $45. Um, I like these because they're 12 ounce glove. I like that they're smaller than the big uh, 16 ounce gloves I used to have. Uh, the other nice thing about the 12 ounces, because they are smaller, they're lighter, you can throw. Hold on, I got the ice cream truck going by here. Um, da, 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 Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Oh, he's going to park right there. Good. Um, so, <laughs> sorry. So with these, these were $40, $45. Uh, it, was, it was a good glove, I think, because I was sort of getting back into boxing. I was pretty sure I was going to stay with it. But, uh, you know, compared to this one, this is $140. So $45 versus $140. Obviously, I'm not going to go out and spend $140 right off the bat for a pair of gloves. Um, but I've been boxing now for about four years again, you know, at least since I've gotten in my 40s. And uh, this was a good glove. I love the 12 ounce. It allowed me to generate a lot of speed. With speed comes power. Unfortunately, also with more power, that probably contributed to a lot of the injury I had in my shoulder. Um, because I'm still suffering the effects of that. I mean, I was supposed to have surgery on it. I chose not to uh, for a couple reasons. One, I still have good lateral movement. Um, and the pain got better as I got off the bag. Uh, so now when I get back on the bag, I don't throw right hooks. and. Uh, I think that was really what was damaging it. So you rarely ever see me throw a right hook. Um, I'll throw some sort of uh, right uppercuts, uh, but I really do try to stay away from any kind of power shot with this. Um, I can throw a, a nice right cross. It doesn't seem to affect it. It's just for some reasons the, uh, the right hooks are, are more of an issue. So this was a good glove, big fundamental difference. It says authentic leather, I believe that's probably true, but it basically feels like, you know, I don't know, a, cheap, a, a soccer ball or spongy. It, it's not very dense material. I mean, you can, sorry, you can see it's really easy to, to compress this. And so you can imagine when you're hitting, uh, it's, I don't want to speak negative because I'm very happy with the glove, but it probably doesn't uh, provide as much protection as it should. These are sort of the injected molded, so I think this is just like a layer molding 
molding while this is uh, uh, injected to try to generate the form. And so right off the bat, the big thing I noticed with this one, the other one I said spongy. This one's not nearly as spongy. It's a lot more dense. You can feel that right off the bat. The other thing is this is a synthetic leather, but because of that density and the feel to it, it actually feels like you're touching a cow. I mean, it's, um, it's a pretty dense material. Um, you probably can't tell in the video, um, but there's, there's, definitely, there's definitely more layers here. Uh, a couple things with the glove. First of all, it has this sort of cloth on the side. It's so when you're doing, you can sort of wipe the sweat off. Um, that's a nice thing to have. I, I, I sort of worry about long term what it's going to be like to be putting my sweat on here and not, you know, cleaning it off. So I hope that doesn't become an issue. Um, but it is a nice thing, especially I mean, I'm hitting it in my garage today. I think it, the temperature in the garage is about 93 degrees. So, you know, it's pretty hot. So it is nice to have that. Um, it does have some ventilation, has ventilation up here, some ventilation up here and some ventilation here. Uh, plus a pretty wide thing. So I didn't feel like my hands were getting too hot in here. The other thing I saw in the review of these gloves is people said they did not have to break them in. With the titles I had, it took about a week to break them in. It was almost like being with a virgin. I mean, it was, it was just so tight and sort of almost uncomfortable. Um, and it probably took about a week of hitting uh, probably four or five or six times to truly break them in. But with these... They fit perfect. I mean, it feels like I've been wearing them a while, uh, but they're still very, I don't know, my hand fits in here perfect. It doesn't really move around. With with the title, there was a little bit of, of movement, um, but these are, it's almost like a pocket. Um, yeah. So these also are, are sort of unique. I think most of the boxing gloves have, you know, as long as you don't have a lace up, they have these where you, you, you uh, wrap around and that's where the support on your wrist comes. With this one, it has a two-tier system. So first you pull this over here. And really, I, th I think this is less important than, 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 the, than the next one. It, it just sort of makes it snug. But the one that really locks it on your wrist is the second one. So it brings to the question, what happens when you move to the second glove? Because there's no way I'm going to tighten the first one. Um, or there's no way I'm going to tighten this first strap as well as I did um, on, on the first glove I put on. So when I put this on, it's not too bad. This is my going to be my second time doing it. Uh, this one, like I said, I, I'm not too worried about how tight that I can pull this. I mean, it's pretty good. Decent. I mean, not as good as this one. Um, but like I said, uh, this one's the one that's more important. And as long as I get that wrapped around, um, they feel, I, I can tell you, these feel more snug around my, my wrist than those titles did. So, uh, big, big difference in there. That was the other sort of claim to fame for these is they provide a lot of wrist support. I did notice when I was hitting on the, the bag, I don't think my wrist turned at all with the other ones, maybe three or four times, nothing bad, but enough to... You know, sort of in your head, like, oh, I got to be careful. Just turn my wrist a little bit. I didn't turn my wrist in these, so they, they, they definitely sort of live up to the reviews I saw where people said that they provide really good support. Let's see if there's anything else about these. Now, taking them off a little bit harder to get that second part off, but you don't have to take the second part. Once you get the first part off, uh, you can really just slide it off. I love the color selection. There was just so many different ones you could go with. Um, I actually almost went with the red one with black on it, but I like this one. It's a little bit more subtle and, and, and less flashy. Um, the other big thing was going from 12 ounce to 16 ounce. Um, more dense, I noticed. So with my punching bag, it's about 25 years old. I'm getting a new one in a few weeks, but because of this whole COVID, uh, it, it's really hard to get sporting equipment because a lot of it's just, a lot of companies have been shut down. So I'm getting a new bag in a few weeks, but the one that I currently have is uh, 25 years old. Uh, it's, it's probably about four and a half feet tall. The bottom third just feels like brick. I mean, it's, it's like hitting a brick wall, so it, it's not comfortable. There, you, you can't really do any kind of body. I mean, you can't do a body shot whatsoever unless you, you just want to crack your hand open. I did notice today with these, I could, uh, I could jab uh, with the left. 
I could actually throw some gentle hooks um, as well, and I didn't feel how dense it was. The only time I felt how dense it was is when I threw a right cross, and I think it was just because my hands sort of stopped and sent that shock up the uh, uh, up my arm. But let's see what else. Yeah, I think that's about it. Like I said, the, the big thing I noticed is padding. Um, I really couldn't feel the punches. I can't really comment on how it felt to throw power punches. I don't think I threw a, a single power punch today. And um, that was for two reasons. One, I've been hitting every day on the back for about 30 minutes a day, um, which I guess if, if you do it all the time, it's a big deal. But, um, you know, this is sort of the first time I've been hitting every day and in a long time. Usually it's like once or twice a week. So I've been hitting, hitting every day. I'm also doing shoulder and arm exercises every day. So my, my shoulders are just spent. I, I just, I, I can't generate any power. I was struggling even just to keep my hands up. So um, I do think that when I am able to generate power, I don't know if they're going to land as solid as is the title. Um, but right now I'm not worried about throwing power at all. I'm, I'm just worrying about not making this uh, uh, rotator cuff worse. Uh, I don't want it to get to a point where uh, I do have to get surgery. I had a follow-up MRI today, so probably in the next few days I'm going to notice. Uh, I'll find out how it's how if it's if it's gotten any worse over the past two years. I'm hoping it hasn't. Uh, if so, uh, I'll continue with my boxing workout. If it has gotten worse, I'll, I'll probably have to reevaluate. But you know, I've already invested $140 into the gloves, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep hitting for a while. So uh, it may just reflect whether I buy a new punching bag or not. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I, I'm not a professional by any means, uh, but I, I can at least, I think, I think a lot of people getting into the sport or who are into the sport and coming back into it, I think these are, are pretty popular gloves. I think this is what a lot of people will go into. Um, so this is really sort of my comparison between the two. Once again, this is a 12 ounce. This is a 16 ounce. There's really no fundamental difference in the size. Uh, you can definitely feel it in the weight. Uh, the quality between these is night and day difference. Um, this, I mean, basically, I don't want to insult it because I really like this glove. Um, I'm a big fan of it. But for lack of better words, it almost feels like something you could buy at Walmart. Um, while this one, which, um, this just this is just a much higher quality. And so, once again, I'm not bashing Tidal. I actually love Tidal. I think they make great gloves. I think they make great equipment. Uh, but if you get into that point where, you know, you're, you're maybe in that 185 pound plus range, uh, uh, maybe like me, I, I'm 49. So if you're getting kind of getting older, you got to start thinking about protecting your body a little bit more. I, I don't recover like I did 10, even 10 years ago. Uh, to me, this, this, this is a great investment. I, I, I don't regret the money I spent on it. Um, and I wish I had done it sooner, but once again, I didn't know four years later I'd still be doing this. Uh, and even when I bought, this is my second one of these, even when I bought this the second time, um, I think I bought it after I'd already torn my rotator cuff. So obviously I'm not going to spend $140 on a pair of gloves after I have a rotator cuff tear. But now that I've had a couple, uh, about a year and a half to work on it, it doesn't seem to be getting any worse. We'll see what the MRI says. Uh, to me, it was definitely worth the money. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I highly recommend this. So once again, never heard of this company as of a week ago, but the reviews, this is the uh, uh, Hayabusa T3 glove. A uh, lot of different color combinations. So depending on what your preference is, I guarantee you'll find one you like. Uh, highly recommend the glove. Today's only my first day using it so we'll see how I feel in a week or a month from it but I, I don't imagine my opinion is going to change uh, in a negative way whatsoever. The, the two big things, uh, I mean I don't even really feel this on my, I don't even feel this on my knuckles. There's just, I don't want to say there's so much padding but the padding is so dense you just, you almost can't even feel it on your knuckles and then like I said it, it my wrist doesn't even move when, it, when I'm hitting with this so Highly recommend Hayabusa. You did a great job with these gloves. Thank you. If you have any questions, reach out.